Hi, Robert Kennedy here. Last few days we've been having uh, blackouts in the morning, no power, and I want coffee. So I, I came up with a really good way to make the coffee. And I'm going to show it to you in case you have a blackout and you got your regular coffee maker that's electric and you want to make some coffee and no electricity. And this worked really cool, so let me show you. Okay, so what I did is I took my pot of coffee, uh, the amount I normally use, and poured it in the pan. I'll turn it on. And then with the coffee I normally put into the filter, I normally put in three scoops in the filter. So I put the three scoops right in the water there. One, two, three. The same amount I use in the in the percolator, whatever that thing is, that drip thing. And we turn on the hopefully we got gas. So I turn on the heat pretty good. Let me get a spoon so I can uh, steer that up a little bit. Hopefully we got a spoon over here someplace. Excuse me. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so I got all the coffee in there. I stir it up in the water a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Just uh, I wonder if this is how the cowboys made it. Why they have to strain it through their socks or something like that. So I'm going to bring the water to a nice quick boil, put the coffee in there. Do, 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 do. So how are you guys doing? How do you like our uh, new house here? Man, oh man. We got cement floors. We got tin roofs. We got electricity in plastic boxes. And then we have little things to the outside there. It's nice and quiet. We have uh, chickens in the morning, but uh, listen how quiet it is at night. We don't have any karaoke. We don't have motorcycles. Nobody's drunk. All I can hear is crickets. A little bit of rain sometimes, you know. God, this thing's taking a long time. Gotta get that to a boil. And, uh, hmm. so, uh, got a lot to talk about today. <laughs> Tell me something. Good aroma. Tell me something. Do, do I sound like, uh, the foreigner farming in the Philippines? Have you seen his channel? Do I sound like him? Yeah. I do? Yeah. We need we need comments. If I sound like the foreigner farming in a foreigner farming in the Philippines or or, or not. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of a boil going here. It's getting hot. Now it's gonna be some hot coffee. Now the real trick is coming up. What are we gonna do to get the uh, get those grains out of there? Get the get all that coffee out of the water. The coffee grounds out of the coffee. And I think that's a mess. kind of worried about making my coffee too hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth. So turn that off. And here's where the trick comes in. We use our, our filter here. Use the filter and stick it right in that, right in there. It's not hot. The filter's not hot. Yeah, I can pick it up. No, I mean the pot. The pot might be hot. Let me get my spoon just in case I need to touch something. But last time, it just poured right in real nice. Oh, it's filling it. 
Last time, last time I did it in the sink because I knew I was going to spill. It's kind of. I should have did it in the sink again. I didn't realize that I was spilling some of it. There we go. So you got to move it around a little bit, otherwise it'll stop. Get all plugged up. Take in there. more. That's it. Okay. Voila. Voila coffee. And so now, does that look good? What do you think? Good. Yeah. Color is okay? Yeah. I wonder if I did it too fast. Got myself a cup of coffee. Put some sugar in there. How's, how's the color, the coffee color? Perfect color. Color? Oh no! Gotta see if I can... I don't, since I boiled it in there, I don't know what the temperature is. Like, uh, if it's in the electric percolator, I know what the temperature is. That one, you gotta be careful. <sighs> Tastes like I should have boiled it a little bit longer, but it's good. first thing in the morning. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.